Rand settled on the term capitalism, even though normally she held a term using ism to mean a standard of value plus ism. Separating state and economics isn't capital. I think something like freedomism is more accurate. See, but capital, Ayn Rand really invented, or, or not, yeah, invented, created, only one ism that I can think of, and that is objectivism. She didn't, egoism is not new, altruism is not new. She better and more clearly and more articulately defined them, but she didn't change them. She didn't come up with a new term. She took most of the terminology, with the exception of naming her philosophy. She took most of the terminology from the world out there and then clearly defined what was actually meant by the term being used. So she took egoism and, and properly defined it, consistent with what it actually represents. She took altruism and did the same thing. And there's a perfectly good term out there that represents the right thing, capitalism. Capitalism is a term designated to describe the kind of social, political, economic world that existed in the early, mid, late 19th century. It was popularized by Karl Marx, describing what was going on around him, particularly in England. And what does he mean, what was meant by capitalism? It meant property rights, freedom, and the government staying out of it. And what Ayn Rand does to the term capitalism is she gives it a philosophical definition. She clarifies what it actually means, what the principle is that guided the British economy in the 19th century, the American economy. What was the principle, even though it was never practiced consistently, what was it? It was a government whose sole responsibility was the protection of individual rights, primarily property rights, in which all property is privately owned. That is what Ayn Rand did to an existing term. She took a term that referred to something specific in reality that was already in the culture. She didn't coin a new term. Again, the only completely new term as an ism I think that she coined, is objectivism. All right, so I don't, I don't see a need for freedomism. Freedomism, freedomism is very much similar to libertarianism, which is a term even divorced from the libertarian movement Ayn Rand didn't like. She didn't like freedomism. A part of the issue with freedom is it, it's, it's a word that everybody likes. Everybody is for freedom, including the Marxists. Everybody likes freedom. So what, what is freedomism? You, you, you now have to re, you have to give an objective definition of the term freedom. Just like so you, you're starting over again, and it, it doesn't add anything. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman. Who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. 
But but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this, uh, and and you know the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.